folks? It's Dan here from BeGameCharacter.com. Today we're going over the Snow Shuffle Workout. This is a great workout for if you have winter weather in your area, especially if it's non-seasonally heavy, uh, like the 12 inches that we're getting in the middle of March right now in New Jersey. Welcome to sunny New Jersey. Uh, so one of the things you want to make sure you have properly equipped at all times is the proper attire. You need to have a wide-brimmed hat to keep the snow out of your eyes. Uh, I recommend minimal amounts of clothing so they maintain an aerodynamic posture throughout all of your exercise needs. And then uh, some lightweight shoes generally will keep you from feeling too heavy during your movements. Uh, you can also opt for bare feet, although I prefer the traction of my flip-flops. So you also obviously need a shovel. Uh, the less ergonomic, the better. Unfortunately, I only have an ergonomic model right now, but we're going to make do with what we've got. So, the first and most basic movement is the two-handed scoop. You're going to place your feet wide set like so. Live knees. You want to make sure you don't have stiff knees during this exercise, all right? You're going to get low, insert, and you're going to scoop up and raise. Now, from here, you have two options. You have the standard powerlifting variant, which is twist and turn. There's also the Olympic movement, popular with crossfitters, with the overhead throw. Either motion is fine. The more dynamic one obviously will build explosive power, however, those also definitely a chance of injury. From here, you have the two-handed shove. This one right here, very popular amongst the strongman variant. You're just going to drive forward as though you were a human snowplow. Now, you may find yourself a little bit hindered in your movement, but with a nice tailwind, you can press on. Now, from here, you can also go for an overhead two-handed short grip, all right? The overhand two-handed short grip has the advantage of leg however, the downside is it's a lot harder on the lower back. You need to get much lower in the engagement. So what you want to do is you go down low, scoop. You're going to raise up, and as you raise up, you throw backwards behind. This is great for engaging your core as well on that upright movement. You want to get your spiny erectors going. You're going to throw yourself all the way back and get that snow as far behind you as you can. From there, we're going to move on to the rapid shovel maneuver. For this, you want a reverse grip. So you're going to flip from a supinated to a pronated shovel grip. You're going to come in, and the idea behind this one is speed. This is a speed build. It's very popular with uh, uh, some those of athletic persuasion. If you're into uh, you know, football or uh, handball or any ball, you're going to want to use this to build your hand speed. Okay, So from here, you're going to take that pronated grip on the shovel, and very quick movements. One, two, three, four, like so. You want to do that in probably three sets of ten. If you go any further than that, you might, you know, kind of overclock your heart. And it'd be a bad time for you, alright? There you go. From here, what you want to move on to is you're going to finish off with some get low burnouts, right? Now these may look similar to the rapid However, the importance here is the twisting of the wrist, as you'll notice. You want to scoop down and you twist like so, all right? Down and twist like so, down and twist like so. This is great for building your forearm and wrist strength. I'm going to show it from the other side here. Scoop down, twist, down and twist. So those are the basic movements of the snow shovel workout. Now, once you've finished that, okay, you want to move on to your cool down sets. For your cooldown sets, you're going to do three sets of five snow angels, and you're going to do three sets of five non-breathing snow angels. Now, for this variant, you'll see, I'll do the regular first. This is the regular snow angel, like so. And then there's the non-breathing variant, which you'll see is a little more technical. You just reverse and... Now you want to do three sets of five of those. You want to do both sides of your body to make sure you truly ice down your muscles and get that whole body workout in there, all right? So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the snow shovel workout. Uh, I hope it helps you to build strength and power and athleticism in your daily life. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and are willing to share it with those who might need it. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye. Listen!